Alan Ladd, an American film actor, rose to prominence in the 1940s and 1950s as one of Hollywood's major stars. His career took off with his role in This Gun for Hire in 1942. In the following decade, he became a household name known for his leading roles in films such as The Blue Dahlia and Shane. Standing at only 5'6", Ladd's charisma and talent made him a giant on the silver screen, capturing audiences with his portrayals of complex characters. His fame extended beyond American borders, making him a global star during his time. Even today, his classic films continue to be celebrated and enjoyed by older adults. Delve deeper into the life and career of this renowned actor and discover the impact he left on the film industry. Alan Ladd was a prominent figure in the top 10 money earners list for three consecutive years in 1947, 1953, and 1954. His unique acting style and masculinity set him apart from his peers. Known for his subtle and restrained on-screen presence, Ladd brought a certain level of intensity to his roles that captivated audiences. During the 1940s and 1950s, Ladd became a household name, appearing in a string of successful films such as This Gun for Hire, The Blue Dahlia, and Shane. His rugged good looks and quiet strength made him a favorite among fans, and he quickly became one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. Despite his success, Ladd remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He was known for his meticulous preparation and attention to detail, often spending hours researching his roles and working with directors to ensure that his performances were authentic and believable. Ladd's unique acting style was characterized by a restrained intensity that was both captivating and unique. He had a subtle way of conveying emotion that made his performances feel authentic and real and his masculine presence on screen made him a favorite among audiences. In addition to his acting talent, Ladd was also a skilled athlete and outdoorsman. He loved hunting, fishing, and horseback riding, and often incorporated these hobbies into his films. This added an extra layer of authenticity to his performances and helped to solidify his status as a true Hollywood icon. In conclusion, Alan Ladd was a talented actor and a prominent figure in the top money earners list for three consecutive years in the late 1940s and early 1950s. His unique acting style and masculinity, characterized by a subtle and restrained on-screen presence, made him a favorite among fans and a true Hollywood legend. Alan Ladd, a actor of small stature, made a significant impact in the film industry. His career took off after being paired with the similarly petite Veronica Lake in the classic film noir This Gun for Hire in 1942. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable and led to several more successful films together, including The Glass Key in 1942 and The Blue Dahlia in 1946. Despite his height, Ladd's powerful presence and brooding intensity made him a compelling leading man. He excelled in tough guy roles and became a symbol of strength and determination for audiences. His collaboration with Lake only served to enhance his appeal as the two actors played off each other's strengths and created a dynamic on-screen duo. Together, Ladd and Lake helped define the film noir genre with their films becoming classics in the genre. Their characters were often morally ambiguous, adding to the intrigue and allure of their performances. The actor's undeniable chemistry and on-screen magnetism made them a popular pairing and solidified their places as Hollywood legends. In conclusion, Alan Ladd's impact on the film industry was significant, despite his small stature. His pairing with Veronica Lake in several hit film noirs only served to enhance his appeal and solidify his place in Hollywood history. Alan Ladd, despite never receiving an Academy Award nomination, was a highly celebrated actor during his career. In 1953, he was named the most popular male star in the Photoplay Awards, a testament to his widespread appeal and adoration from fans. The following year, in 1954, the actor won a Golden Globe, further solidifying his status as a talented and respected figure in the film industry. One of Ladd's most iconic roles, and arguably his most enduring legacy, is his portrayal of the title character in the classic Western film Shane. The film tells the story of a mysterious gunslinger who rides into a small Wyoming town and becomes embroiled in a bitter range war between cattlemen and homesteaders. Ladd's portrayal of Shane is a study in subtlety and restraint, and his quiet intensity and understated charisma make for a captivating and unforgettable performance. In Shane, Ladd's character serves as a mentor 
and protector to a young boy named Joey, played by Brandon D. Wilda. The relationship between Shane and Joey is at the heart of the film, and Lad's sensitive and nuanced performance helps to elevate the material and give it a timeless quality. The film's final scene, in which Shane rides off into the distance, has become one of the most iconic moments in the history of Western films, and Lad's performance is a big reason why. Shane was a critical and commercial success, and it cemented Ladd's reputation as a great noir and Western actor. The film's themes of loyalty, honor, and the struggle between good and evil continue to resonate with audiences today, and Ladd's performance remains a shining example of his talent and versatility as an actor. Despite his untimely death in 1964, Alan Ladd's legacy lives on through his films, and his performance in Shane remains one of his most enduring and beloved. Alan Ladd was born on September 3, 1913, in Hot Springs, Arkansas. His father, a freelance accountant, passed away when Ladd was only four years old. This tragic event left Ladd's mother, a native of England, to raise him and his younger brother alone. The family faced poverty and ridicule, with Ladd's height being a particular source of teasing among his peers. Despite these challenges, Ladd's mother did her best to provide for her sons and instill in them a strong sense of determination and perseverance. These early experiences would shape Ladd's character and drive him to pursue a career in acting where he would eventually find success and acclaim. In 1920, Alan Ladd's family made the significant decision to move to California seeking a fresh start. They found themselves living in a transient camp in Pasadena where the young lad would spend his formative years at the age of 14, the future actor began working part-time handling produced crates, a job that helped him build strength and develop into a keen athlete. This early experience in the workforce not only instilled a strong work ethic in Ladd, but also provided him with the physical prowess that would serve him well in his future career in Hollywood. As he continued to grow and mature, Ladd's natural athleticism and determination caught the attention of those around him setting him on a path towards stardom that would captivate audiences for years to come. Through his hard work and dedication, Ladd would go on to become one of the most beloved actors of his time, known for his rugged good looks and commanding presence on the silver screen. From his early days handling produced crates to his rise to fame in Hollywood, Ladd's journey is a testament to the power of perseverance and the enduring appeal of a classic leading man. Alan Ladd, known for his work in film, had an early interest in drama and athletics. During his time at North Hollywood High School, he pursued his passion for swimming and diving, becoming a top-class athlete in these fields. Ladd's skill in the pool was so impressive that he trained for the 1932 Olympic Games. Unfortunately, an injury cut short his Olympic dreams and forced him to retire from competitive athletics. This setback, however, did not deter him from pursuing other interests. Ladd shifted his focus to drama and found success in a new arena. Despite the injury that ended his athletic career, Ladd's love for swimming and diving remained a part of him. The discipline and determination he developed as an athlete no doubt contributed to his success as an actor. The skills he honed in the pool and on the diving board translated well to the stage and screen, making him a formidable presence in the world of film. After finishing high school, Alan Ladd decided to pursue acting, taking on various part-time jobs to make ends meet. Among these jobs were working as a lifeguard and running a hamburger stand. His passion for acting never wavered, and with the help of a family friend, Ladd managed to enroll in an acting school at Universal Pictures. This opportunity opened doors for the actor, and he started getting small roles in local theater production and radio shows. These experiences were invaluable for Ladd as he honed his craft and learned the ins and outs of the industry. Despite starting with small roles, Ladd's determination and talent were evident, and he continued to work hard to make a name for himself in the acting world. Ladd's early career was marked by his persistence and willingness to take on any role that came his way. He knew that in order to succeed, he needed to gain experience and build his reputation. Through his hard work and dedication, Ladd began to make a name for himself as a talented and committed actor. Alan Ladd's determination led him to pursue small walk-on roles in films during the early stages of his career. 
He made appearances in movies such as Tom Brown of Culver, Island of Lost Souls, and Pigskin Parade. These roles, though minor, provided him with the opportunity to gain experience and hone his craft. In 1939, the actor joined the Sue Carroll Agency, which marked a significant turning point in his career. This agency helped him secure better roles in films, including Rulers of the Sea and Citizen Kane. These roles allowed him to showcase his talents to a wider audience and establish himself as a serious contender in the film industry. Lad's persistence and hard work had finally begun to pay off and he started to gain recognition for his acting abilities. His decision to join the Sue Carroll Agency proved to be a wise one as it opened doors for him to more significant and challenging roles in the industry. Throughout his career, Alan Ladd remained dedicated to his craft and continued to take on diverse and interesting roles. His early film roles and his decision to join the Sue Carroll Agency were crucial in setting the stage for his future success in the film industry. In 1942, the performance of Alan Ladd in the film Joan of Paris left audiences in awe. That same year, Ladd took a significant step in his personal life by marrying his agent, Sue Carroll. This union proved to be a game changer for the actor's career, as Carroll's promotion secured him a studio contract with Paramount. The new contract with Paramount opened doors for Ladd, leading to more prominent roles that showcased his talent. The actor's career took off, and he became a well-known figure in the film industry. His work in various films captured the hearts of many, making him a beloved figure in Hollywood. The promotion that Sue Carroll received and the subsequent contract with Paramount were crucial in launching Ladd's career to new heights. The actor's talent, combined with the opportunities that came his way, helped him establish himself as a prominent figure in the industry. His work continues to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences to this day. Alan Ladd's blossoming career was put on hold when he served in the Army Air Force during World War II. The actor's determination to contribute to the war effort was cut short due to digestive issues, which led to his medical discharge. Once the war ended, Ladd resumed his acting career and quickly returned to the spotlight. He starred in the 1942 film The Glass Key, a classic crime drama where he played the role of Ed Beaumont. The movie was a critical and commercial success, further solidifying Ladd's status as a leading man. In 1946, Ladd starred in Two Years Before the Mast, a historical adventure film based on the novel of the same name. The film was a box office hit, and Ladd's portrayal of the protagonist, Charles Stewart, was widely praised. One of Ladd's most memorable roles was in the 1946 film Noir the Blue Dahlia. He played Johnny Morrison, a war veteran who becomes embroiled in a murder investigation. The film was a critical and commercial success, and Ladd's performance was highly regarded. Despite the interruption caused by World War II, Alan Ladd's continued success in the film industry proved his talent and dedication to his craft. His contributions to classic films like The Glass Key, Two Years Before the Mast, and The Blue Dahlia left an indelible mark on Hollywood. After gaining widespread fame in the film industry, actor Alan Ladd decided to venture into production. In 1947, he established Mayfair Productions, a company that allowed him to have more control over his projects. That same year, the actor also started a syndicated radio series called Box 13. In this thrilling show, Ladd played the character of a mystery novelist who embarks on real-life adventures, which was a fitting role for the actor, given his experience in the adventure film genre Ladd's fame as an actor in adventure films was well-deserved. With several successful titles under his bill lieutenant, one of his earliest roles in this genre was in Whispering Smith, where he played a detective tasked with solving a series of train robberies. The film was a hit, and Ladd's portrayal of the tough yet sensitive detective was widely praised. Another notable adventure film that Ladd starred in was The Great Gatsby, where he played the mysterious and wealthy Jay Gatsby. The film was an adaptation of F. Scott Fitzgerald's classic novel, and Ladd's performance was highly anticipated. Although the film received mixed reviews, Ladd's portrayal of Gatsby was widely praised, with critics noting his ability to convey the character's complexity and charm. In 1953, Ladd starred in Desert Legion, an adventure film set in the Sahara Desert. He played a British officer who leads a group of soldiers to protect a valuable treasure from a group of bandits. The film was a commercial success, with audiences praising Ladd's action scenes and charismatic performance. 
Lad's success in adventure films was not a mere coincidence. He had a natural talent for portraying tough yet sensitive characters, and his experience in radio and theater had honed his acting skills. Moreover, his good looks and charisma made him a perfect fit for the genre. In conclusion, Alan Ladd's foray into production with Mayfair Productions and his successful adventure films were a testament to his talent and popularity as an actor. His radio series, Box 13, and films such as Whispering Smith, The Great Gatsby, and Desert Legion showcased his versatility and charisma, making him a beloved figure in Hollywood's golden age. Alan Ladd's performance in the 1953 film Shane marked a significant peak in his career. The movie, which tells the story of a gunslinger who tries to settle down in a small Wyoming town, became an instant classic. Ladd's portrayal of the title character was particularly noteworthy, with his quiet intensity and understated strength making a lasting impression on audiences. One scene from Shane has gone down in Hollywood history as one of the most iconic finales ever. In it, Shane faces off against the villainous Jack Wilson, played by Jack Palance. As the two men stand facing each other, the tension builds to a fever pitch. When the shooting finally begins, it's over in a matter of seconds, with Shane emerging victorious. Despite the success of Shane, however, Ladd's career began to decline in the years that followed. By the mid-1950s, he was no longer the box office draw he had once been, and his films struggled to find an audience. This decline in popularity led to a disagreement with Paramount, the studio that had released Shane, and many of Ladd's other films. Feeling that the studio was not doing enough to promote his career, Ladd decided to take matters into his own hands. In 1957, he formed Jaguar Productions, his own production company. Through Jaguar, Ladd hoped to regain control of his career and produce films that would showcase his talents as an actor. Unfortunately, Jaguar's output was uneven and many of the films Ladd produced failed to find an audience. By the early 1960s, his career was in decline and he struggled to find roles that would showcase his talents. Despite these challenges, however, Ladd remained a respected figure in Hollywood and his performance in Shane continues to be remembered as one of the greatest of his career. After a successful career with Paramount Pictures, the actor Alan Ladd signed a contract with Warwick Films in the mid-1950s. This collaboration resulted in the production of several notable films, including Paratrooper, Hell Below Zero, and The Black Knight. These films showcased Ladd's talent and versatility as an actor, and they remain classics in the annals of cinema history. In Paratrooper, Ladd played the role of a British officer leading a daring mission behind enemy lines during World War II. The film was a critical and commercial success, and it solidified Ladd's status as a leading man in Hollywood. Hell Below Zero, on the other hand, was a thrilling adventure film set in the Arctic. Ladd played a ship's captain who becomes embroiled in a dangerous plot involving stolen diamonds. The film was praised for its exciting action sequences and crisp dialogue. The Black Knight was a departure from Ladd's previous roles, as he played a medieval knight in this swashbuckling adventure film. Ladd's portrayal of the heroic knight was widely praised, and the film remains a favorite among fans of classic cinema. Unfortunately, Ladd's later films were mostly unremarkable, with a few exceptions. Boy on a Dolphin and All the Young Men were two of his more successful films during this period. Boy on a Dolphin was a romantic drama set in Greece, and Ladd starred alongside Sophia Loren. The film was praised for its stunning cinematography and captivating performances. All the Young Men was a war film that explored the experiences of a group of soldiers during the Korean War. Ladd played a seasoned sergeant who must lead his men through dangerous territory. The film received positive reviews for its gritty realism and powerful performances. Despite the success of these films, Ladd's career began to decline in the 1960s. He continued to act in films and television shows, but he never again reached the heights of his earlier success. Nonetheless, his contributions to the world of cinema will always be remembered, and his films continue to captivate audiences to this day. Alan Ladd, the actor, had a difficult upbringing. He witnessed his father's death at a young age and grew up in poverty. Sadly, his mother's life also ended tragically when she took her own life. These early experiences had a profound impact on Ladd, shaping his personal struggles throughout his life. 
Despite his troubled past, Ladd found success in his career as an actor. He was married twice, first to Marjorie Jane Harold, and then to his agent Sue Carroll. His marriage to Harold ended in divorce, but his union with Carroll lasted until his untimely death in 1964. In addition to his two marriages, Ladd also had an affair with June Allison in 1955. The affair was a significant event in his personal life, adding to the complexities of his relationships and personal struggles. Throughout his life, Ladd faced many challenges, both personally and professionally. However, he remained committed to his craft and continued to work in the film industry, leaving behind a legacy of classic films that continue to be cherished by audiences today. Alan Ladd, the actor, had battled with health issues, insomnia, and depression for a significant period of his life. His reliance on sedatives and alcohol was a testament to his internal struggles. In November 1962, Ladd's battle with depression reached a critical point, leading him to attempt suicide. However, the truth was concealed, and the incident was reported as an accident. Despite his personal struggles, Ladd continued to work, and his final film was The Carpetbaggers in 1964. The movie was a classic Western drama, and Ladd's performance was highly appreciated. Unfortunately, Ladd did not live to see the film's release. On January 29, 1964, Alan Ladd was found dead in his home. The cause of his death was ruled as an accidental overdose of pills and alcohol. The news of his death came as a shock to his fans and the film industry as Ladd had kept his health issues and struggles private. In hindsight, it is clear that Ladd was battling demons that ultimately led to his untimely death. His tragic passing is a reminder of the importance of mental health awareness and the need for support for those struggling with depression and addiction. Alan Ladd's impact on cinema is undeniable despite his personal struggles and untimely death at the age of 50. The actor, who rose to fame in the 1940s and 50s, left behind a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain audiences today. Throughout his career, Ladd starred in a number of classic films, including This Gun for Hire, The Blue Dahlia, and Shane. His brooding good looks and quiet intensity made him a favorite among audiences, and his performances were often marked by a subtlety and nuance that set him apart from his peers. Despite his success on the big screen, Ladd's personal life was fraught with challenges. He struggled with alcoholism and depression, and his marriage was marked by infidelity and tension. In 1964, at the age of 50, Ladd died by suicide, leaving behind a complicated and tragic legacy. But despite these personal struggles, Ladd's impact on cinema remains. His performances continue to captivate audiences, and his influence can be seen in the work of countless actors who have followed in his footsteps. One of Ladd's most enduring legacies is his role in Shane, a classic Western that tells the story of a retired gunfighter who is drawn into a conflict with a powerful rancher. Ladd's performance as the stoic and determined Shane has become iconic, and the film is often cited as one of the greatest Westerns of all time. Another of Ladd's notable performances can be seen in The Blue Dahlia, a film noir that follows a group of veterans as they navigate the seedy underbelly of post-war Los Angeles. Ladd's portrayal of a troubled veteran struggling to come to terms with his past is both powerful and poignant, and the film remains a classic of the genre. In addition to his work on the big screen, Ladd also made a number of appearances on television, including a starring role in the popular series The Alan Ladd Show. Despite his success in both film and television, Ladd remained humble and grounded, always eager to learn from those around him. Today, Alan Ladd's impact on cinema is still felt, and his legacy continues to inspire and entertain audiences around the world. His life may have been marked by tragedy and personal struggle, but his work on the big screen remains a testament to his talent and enduring appeal.